Email service provider that you want to use. You want to basically go and uh, set up um, a list of like different emails that are going to blast out to your audience. So it's going to be that, yo, the holidays is coming. Like this is going to be on sale and then you have your coupon and whatever, however you want to do it. You can kick like three to five uh, emails. Um, a lot of people do way more than that. And if you notice like during the holidays, you probably get like three or four emails a day from one company. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on how much you want to go and don't for be real, scared. Listen, let them know because my email my listen my inbox is looking real brazy right now but but don't be scared to do that because this is something that is typical it's just typical like move how the companies do but this is something this is what we call an asset you want to get all your emails together and schedule them to just blast out to your audience right so you want to have that you want to have all of your imagery together so if you have any type of flyers banners all of this stuff you want to make sure that you're creating all of that and then all of that is uh you put that on all of your social media get all your banners make sure everything is just looking cohesive or whatever Corey sent like he he posted something like yesterday that speaks to this i'm gonna find it for the end of this conversation but all right keep this in mind all right you're talking about all that stuff i want you to talk more time because what i've noticed right first i would just be giving advice to artists or trying to you know tell them what they should do the methods and tactics certain things like that right then as I spent more and more time with like artists that are fresher in the game, I was like, oh man, okay, they understand that they're supposed to do this now, but they don't understand that you need to be doing this for six months, right? To even understand, to actually see real results. You're trying these one-off tactics, but you're not trying strategy. You're just giving me a call one time. You need to call me five to ten, uh, ten times or something like that. But then after that, I realized the next stage, which I need to talk about even more, is they don't realize how much time beforehand it takes to prepare right. for this stuff. Like you, some of these things, why y'all are getting at a disadvantage is because people are literally preparing like six months in advance, yeah. three months in advance, and then they're launching. They have all this stuff built up and you're thinking that, oh, I'm just going to like get something together this weekend and artists say, I took advantage of a holiday. I can't tell you how often I see artists say, Oh, I'm, I'm dropping something on Valentine's Day. Or I'm dropping something on my birthday or dropping. And it is literally just a drop. Maybe a few pictures that go along with it. Right. But, but it's not like a campaign run. Exactly. You have to make a moment out of it and decide where it's focused and continuous. So you absorb that traffic. You, you suffocate the marketplace into your own space and world for a period of time. And then you can move past that. But it takes... Building out emails that like because you you need to do templates and you need to be dripping those campaigns. That takes time to write those right. out and do them efficient. The landing pages, the 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 music, the ad itself, copies, the ad copy, the, and the uh, what else? photos, photos, graphics, action, music videos, all that stuff. The, right, the, the, lining up the platforms to promote it. All these things take time to curate and even more time if you're working by yourself. So like. Please understand that not only are we saying do this, we're saying you need to do this for five to six months sometimes or an extended period of time longer than just two days. Right. right? And then not only that, but you need to prepare to do this for probably months for a lot of y'all. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's that's why you want to start out but by, by just writing down the list of holidays so you can visually see what you have coming up. And then you can pick which which holidays you want to actually like campaign for or campaign during that time. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, when it comes to like the time to take, to prepare that now, one thing it, it depends on, like, do you have a team that's helping you with this? If you're doing it by yourself, you know, you might want to plan for a holiday four months in advance, at least two, you know, definitely don't do it the month before or the, the month of, because it's, it's just going to wear you out and you're going to fall behind, but you definitely want to give yourself like three to four months in advance to plan for a holiday. And that's why you start with that list and then you start to create your, your holiday calendar or your campaign calendar, right? So it says during this week, I'm gonna be uh, creating all of my emails and scheduling them. During this week, I'm gonna be creating all of the imagery that I need. So any type of flyers, any type of, um, uh, just any type of image that you need to go along with you promoting or marketing right so you you're going to be doing that uh you might need to have any some type of promo video so one thing that i talked about with um 
with my 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 group uh, my coaching group is the fact that we don't always have to shoot full videos for your single. So let's say you're, mm. you have something yep. that you're planning to do for Christmas, you know, but you don't have a yep. full single or a full video for it. You don't have to shoot full videos. You can literally take like 60 seconds of that song and shoot a, a promo video, right? I would say take this 60 seconds of like the dopest part of the song, shoot, the, shoot a promo video that's actually like acting out certain things that you're saying right yeah. so it looks like so dope it's, it's basically like you're telling the stories like b-roll footage why you rapping at the same time or whatever but you want to create those little 60 second promo videos that you can use you can use those for ads you can use those just for content to promote you can put links to stuff in your uh your email list all of that stuff right so you just want to create those are all your assets you have to get all of that stuff together you know way before you it's time to even launch and then you can do stuff like a a pre-sale so you tell people maybe like two weeks before like yo there here's the pre-sale you're gonna get like 50 percent off and then when it comes time for the holiday you might be like okay here's a 30 percent off and here's See, a you, you're hitting them with a lot right man now. because it you're, is a you're, lot you're hitting them with a lot it's a lot right and i i want one thing that y'all take away from everything she said is that she said a lot <laughs> which means it's going to take a lot of time on the front end to, to plan that out because everything she said was facts. There's some version of that, that that you should be applying, even when we talk about looking at holidays ahead of time, right, and being able to map that out. It's not just holidays. Looking at dates in general, whatever, planning something far enough ahead is a real thing that needs to be utilized more. And I, the artists that I know and I'm working with um, on the back end are just helping out in general that are doing that, I see a difference in the ones that say, hey, yo, brand man, can I do this? And I'm like, okay, yeah, but when are you going to drop it? And oh, I'm trying to drop it in two weeks, and I got these and these are my resources, yeah. and it's not prepared, versus, yo, I'm dropping this in January, but we've been talking about this since June, where it's almost having me like, yo, bro, shit, it's kind of early to be talking about this, right? But, it, but, it's, <laughs> but, it's, but not. it's relevant, and they're on their stuff, and I appreciate it because you have to be the one who's on your stuff and, and looking at it that way because, you know, one artist, I remember he had some stuff he wanted to start in January. Mm -hmm. They've been talking about it literally since June, July, probably July, and then he all has a goal of when he starts that, what he wants to do on New Year's Day, 2020, technically 2021, whatever, you know, you know what I mean, right? Right. So he's really planning the next year, starting six months into the year prior. Right. Right. So and that's a campaign, like, or, a or a marketing campaign. strategy, a marketing yeah. plan. Like, you want to have a release plan. Especially when you don't have many resources. You need to really gather how you want to spend your resources and plan for it. That way things get used in an interconnected way versus I spend it and now every other thing I do is starting from ground zero. You want to make sure these things connect. Sometimes it gets you one step forward. Sometimes it gets you five steps forward. Right. But they need to connect. But what, like one thing I feel like when it comes to the holidays that's important to understand is that... Um, it's it's great for artists to use, like have a per, have a reason to do something that because it gives other people a reason to want to tune into you, right? So it's like I can drop something for the the cr Christmas season and use the fact of just it being Christmas, like I'm doing this because it's Christmas to get people's attention, right? So yep. that's why it's good for you to like really look at certain holiday, not even just holidays, but this can go into like you looking into festivals, like, okay, I want to release my music. Let me see when the music conferences are going on or music yep. festivals because I can just cap off of them. I can say, okay, every year South by Southwest is happening. I can plan a whole project or a whole single, two singles or whatever, to drop during South by Southwest and then go and attack all the people who are having shows during South by Southwest, right? Exactly. And get on. And then I can use that. I'm on stage like, boom, this is my new single. And I can just use them to help promote me. Because if you're on somebody's show, they're going to have flyers for you. They're going to be doing recap videos. You know what I mean? And this is what you're going to be able to use. Like all of that content, you're going to be able to use that for your own benefit. Yeah, and what you're alluding to now is the fact that one we have permission marketing and some of y'all are familiar with that right where we get into this vibe where, where hey we give to people and people are actually open to hearing it whether we're giving advice right and they're open to it or or they're just a fan so they're open to you pushing something out to them mm -hmm. they're giving you permission to to get back in front of their face right, right. but then 
we have this other level where there's these events and when you can justify around the event, then it's permissible. Maybe they're not saying permission, but you're justified. It's like, okay, he's doing it because of this. He created right. a reason. That's why Marcus like, oh, it's, it's Black Friday. Oh, it's pre-Black Friday. It's Cyber Monday, right? It's the pre-pre-party, you know, the after-after <laughs> right. after party, right? We create all these things. And then it's pretty much another level when we look at concentrated periods like the holidays that are marketers heaven, right? Mm -hmm. Because there's permission spamming. That's really what it is. Right. I haven't heard nobody say